12 years of professional experience for Jamie Watson, and he's now an analyst, television analyst for Nashville SC. For anybody at home that doesn't have a soccer background like myself, why should they show up to this game tomorrow? Well, first of all, tomorrow is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. You only get one opportunity to make your first impression in Major League Soccer and over 50,000 and counting have already decided they want to be here at Nissan Stadium tomorrow. Uh, I feel privileged and honored to be a part of it as well to help get to tell the story of this amazing club. There's a lot of people working behind the scenes really hard to make this as successful as they can. And I think tomorrow is going to be a celebration of the hard work. But then you've got game two through 34 after that. There's going to be 17 home games this year plus the Open Cup. But really the, the big thing is it's it's like a big festival weekend and week out that we want to build here with the headliners being, you know, at the top of the placing of the, any good festival, you'll have your 11 players that play the game, but you got to have all the other acts around just to make it a festival. So we've got Judah and the Lion before they're performing. Lizzie Hay will do the riff. Charles uh, Esten will be doing the national anthem. We'll have so much activation in and around and it really caters to anything that you want. If you're a family of four and you want to bring your kids, I've got my family and my kids are coming to the first game as well. There'll be plenty of stuff in around the concourse and outside of the stadium for them to do. If you've worked hard all week and you're ready to just blow off some steam and have a great time with your buddies, there'll be drinks everywhere. There will be no shortage of that. You'll have a great time and can celebrate. So we really want to make sure to cater to anybody and what they want to achieve and they're going to have a great time. And then you'll remember, oh wow, we've been having a great time for a couple hours and now's kickoff. It's going to be an incredible festival from uh, start to finish tomorrow. And the fans at home probably want to know about the in-game entertainment, which makes the Nashville Predators so successful. What kind, what, what are we expected from? Well, you've got Judah and Lion who did an incredible job with our anthem. Uh, I got a chance to see them at a small venue the other night as they were recording the music video for it. And um, it's really, it's really special to think that there could be this entire stadium full of people singing Never Give Up On You and that's going to be the anthem for the club. Uh, we're going to have different local celebrities throughout the season. Lizzie Hale tomorrow will be doing the riff on the mm -hmm. guitar. You'll be able to see the fans have a special TIFO plan, which is this big, elaborate 120 foot. Um, I think it's, it's 60 by 60, so maybe my math's off on that there. It's, uh, it's big. It, yeah, it's, it's really big. Uh, to put it in perspective, it'll basically take up the whole supporter section. The back line has been working on it really hard. That's the fan group here. Um, there's going to be so much excitement around each and every game that you don't have to be a soccer expert to come to a game and have a great time. In fact, we realize there are probably going to be more people that maybe are seeing their first game either tomorrow or the week after that when they come back on the 21st to play against the Columbus crew here at home. It's okay. It's all right if this is the first time you're seeing a soccer game. It's and, going to be more than just a soccer game. And that's your advantage. There's this nuance. There's something new like the Nashville Predators in the, in the late 90s that but you have a first impression to make uh, tomorrow as well. And yeah, we really do. And, and it's incredible to think the trajectory this club has taken with John, Green, John Ingram and the ownership group. Ian Ayers did an incredible job building this down to the players. This is going to be a team that you can really be proud of. This is a team that wants to integrate themselves in the community. It's a lot of people moving in to a new team in a new city, but everybody here wants to make this feel like home and they want to make Nissan Stadium a home field advantage. So apart from the game, that's just 90 minutes. We're setting off something big here in the community that's going to transcend just tomorrow. It's going to be an incredible spectacle. If you haven't gotten your tickets, please do. If there's any left by the time <laughs> people are watching this at home, right? It's, it really is. Uh, we're going to shoot to try to uh, break that record for the largest uh, soccer game in the state of Tennessee, which I think we'll uh, safely be able to do. Um, but it's going to be a, a spectacle the rest of the season. The home games are going to be something that I, I want to say is like the event of the summer, but it's like 17 events of the summer because it's just going to get better and better each game. And you want to be a part of the first one, don't you? So you can say, I've been here from the beginning on. That's your chance to come tomorrow night and really make this team feel like they're welcomed home. Just like everybody here in the state does. When somebody new moves in, like myself, yeah. I've already been made to feel at home by the people here in the short time that I've been here. Let's do that for our players tomorrow night and then beyond. Jamie's one of the 100 that moves here to Nashville every day. Two and a half weeks he's been here. Are you starting to feel the the energy that we felt out on this practice field for Saturday? Absolutely, Justin. And first of all, I'm apologizing for adding to the traffic here. I'm sorry about that. I get, mad at you right I get now. stuck in that too on my way in from Franklin. But uh, what I will say is uh, the players talking to some of them, uh, Dax McCarty, uh, he is a guy that was actually in my wedding, good friend of mine. He's been here almost even shorter time because they've been away for spring season training. Um, it's been incredible to hear his story as well say that 
we feel like home and we feel like we are now representing something bigger than ourselves. It'll say Nashville SE on the badge, but we represent what this community is about. It's about embracing everybody, being inclusive, being diverse, but knowing that we're gonna band together, we're gonna do this together, everyone in, and we're gonna do this together where it's gonna be with Nashville, for Nashville, in Nashville. And my last question, the more events I go to with Nashville SC, the more I think soccer's gonna work here. Obviously, you're gonna say it is, but why is soccer gonna work, and why should somebody not wait until later in the season jump on the bandwagon, but literally start tomorrow. Now look, soccer is going to work here in the state because you're already seeing proof of concept with over 50,000 people in the first game, but then season ticket holders are getting steadily bigger and bigger, bigger. We're going to build the stadium here in a short period of time. We're going to have a stadium that's going to last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. My kids are hopefully going to be able to yeah. grow up and play in that stadium. But I think really it's because we've got this community that can embrace people when they move in. You're going to say, we know how great Tennessee is. We know how great Nashville is. Now we're going to show the world because soccer is the world's game. We have a team that you can be proud of that's going to be built in Nashville, for Nashville, with Nashville. And at the heart of that, if that's what you can really keep as a core value, then you're going to have your team express that with the character of play on the field. But more importantly, soccer is 90 minutes. There's 22 and a half hours other in each day. This is going to be a team you can be proud of that you can make feel your own. And when you come here, if it's your first time or if you're the most seasoned veteran, it does not matter. Come one, come all. It's going to be an incredible party. It's going to be an incredible time. And you're going to see an incredible team that you're going to be able to say, that's my team. I'm proud of. I'm proud to wear the badge just like the players are on the field. Awesome. That's all we needed. Okay, thank, thank you, my man.